is just a bit of a, a sidestep from the excellent GY videos. I've been recording the videos pretty much uh, as I go through and port the code. Now, before I wanted to move on, I wanted to, to work out a way of emulating how Blitz deals with lists or type lists. Um, I know something strange about it, actually. I'll, I'll talk to you about that in a second. Well, it's not strange, but it's just unexpected. Uh, so what I've done is I've written a little library. Well, I didn't write it. I went to the forum and grabbed some pre-existing code that was already does much the same thing. And this handles uh, a collection of lists. So I can create a new list and then I can add, delete things from that list. And each list can have things, you know, it can be as long as you like. Uh, memory permitting. It's a bit ugly, but but it's the same principle as what we have internally. But what it gives us over here, so we can do, I'm trying to sort of emulate the code as it appears within that excellent GUI. <clears throat> to make this work, we have to uh, inherit our gadget or our types from this list type just got some some dummy fields in there for, for testing purposes and we have a declaration it's just an integer it's not strongly typed in pv um, there might be a way around that but uh, for the for the time being it's just a global um, and that would mean we can access win list any, anywhere anywhere we like the next bit of code is just a Fornix loop to initialize 10 or add 10 things to the list. So we dimension a pointer of window, sorry, dimension a yeah, pointer of window type. And then we call in this function new object. So we're giving it two things. We're giving it, we want to attach this thing that we're allocating to this list. So that's why we're using win list and the type that we want to attach to it. We have a look at the function. We've got this, we've got what's the index of the, or the handle of the list we're adding this new item to. And we've got the type index, which is actually a PB-ism um, that we're allowed to do. We're, we're allowed to pass in type, type names and it will convert that to an index. And the new operator knows what, what to do with the indexes. So this is actually the same as going me equals new window. With one subtle difference is that now I can just put the type name here and call this function generally and have it do this for me. So it's kind of generalizing the problem. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's uh, one solution for doing that. So running through, we're creating 10 of these things. And in Blitz, new items are, are attached. While I was assuming this, when I went into this, I just assumed that new items were added to the end of the list or they're added um, after the current pointer within the list. You know, if you think of it like this, if, you, if you're moving through a list of items, there's a internal current pointer as to what, which one you're currently uh, accessing from that group. Hmm. But that turns out not, not to be true. Well, I think it's not true. I'm not quite sure at the moment. Anyway, so we've added the things there. We've bumped the ID to give them something different about each other. A little function to draw this list to the screen. Then I tell it to delete uh, a window ID of five. Just, just a little function I write that runs through. So we we search for a window ID. Uh, where is it? Here. We're passing the list handling all the time. So we're asking it, is there a first item in the list? In other words, is the list empty or not? If it's not empty, we have stuff in it. So we compare the ID of the first thing we're looking at with the ID we want. If it's found, great, we exit. 
If it's not found, we just step from, we get the link, the pointer of the next item in the list and set this to here. Loop back and we keep doing it until there's nothing left. We've got to be careful with that because these are pointers. So we never want to, you know, if win is zero, we never want to try and access a field when win is pointing at zero. So that will crash. Nonetheless, perfectly safe in this context. So we're looking for the window out of a pointer to the window. And then we go, okay, we found it. Uh, we make sure it's not zero, just in case. And we call the unlink uh, object, which is basically delete should be called really. Here it's just called unlink because that's what it's actually doing. It's just unlinking this thing from the list that it appears within. I don't think there's any, there's no validation code in here too, so I probably should add something there to make sure that we're not, um, we can't pass in null handles. So the list handle should always be validated, for example, and me should be validated up front, making sure that, that actually exists. Because if it doesn't, we'd, we're doing something we shouldn't be doing. Uh, back to here. So we can tell little function just runs through and deletes something then it shows the list after we delete item 5 we delete the first item and the last item we just, uh, just repeatedly show them so we'll have a look at the program running there we go so this is the state of the list after it's initially created so we've got 11 items we've got from ID 0 or through to ID 10 so that's 11 I know it's confusing and then we've got the previous link and the next link of each item as you can see in here, the pointers to these things here are changing. As we move through the window list, we're physically pointing at the next thing in the, within the list in memory. Um, that's not how Blitz works, but it's for our purposes it should be okay. So the second display here is when we've deleted item 5. So we come down 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This shows us too that we're, as we add new items, they're added to the end of the list. Uh, in PB, it actually adds things to the head of the list. Uh, so we, we kind of have to emulate Blitz here to, to, to make sure that code, which would be assuming that um, the behaviors are, are like that, that when you add new items, they appear at the end. So we have to sort of simulate the same thing. When we delete something here, We've kept our order intact, our links are all good, so we can get through the list again. We delete something from the middle of the list, and we try and delete the head, that's all fine. And the remain, remaining tail. That pretty much works, but then you notice some weird stuff in... Uh, this is emulating this code down below here. So this is the type declaration. We tell it we want this this list to be global the list name and then the what type uh, type should appear within this list same thing we're running through from 0 to 10 creating 10 of these things and bumping the IDs and then displaying them back this part of the code up here here down to down to where are we sorry down to here do the same thing so we pretty much, you know, we've added some extra syntax kind of stuff into it, but, but our behaviors are much the same. There's a bit of a problem though, and I'll show you, this is actually Blitz. Um, it does something I didn't, didn't expect. If we look at the code, we've got our window declared, it's a type, gadget type, we're declaring win list of type gad of type window, I should say. Adding ten things to it and displaying this handle back to the screen. We create a second list of type window. We add ten things to that window, that list, display the handle, and then we show the results. Now, if I put a, a pause there, if we run this thing we get something weird. 
I'm displaying the contents of one list, which I only had 10 items, but we're getting both. The second weird thing about that was, is that the function to, to show this stuff, which is down here, never refers to either win list or the other win list, uh, which are both tagged as being lo local. What I can, you know, assume from that is, is that every time we create an, a window type in Blitz, every time, regardless of what list this thing appears within, we can access these things uh, globally. Now surely if I went through down the bottom here and specifically said, hey, just show me the contents of this. If I draw something there, print a bit of a dash line or something. Uh, just change them, win list, which is the one we want, win list. Let's see what we get, win list. So this should just show us the contents of win list, which should, which should have handles item zero to 10 in it. So that's what we should get. And we don't. Hmm. Now, certainly I'm no expert in bliss, that's for damn sure. But that's a bit of a culture shock. I didn't, didn't know that. We're going to get that at all. Uh, so I might have to pick through the GUI code a bit closer and work out: uh, Do we need to have separate lists, or do it, or what the control code is actually doing? I was just assuming that that we have a master list of windows, and we have a current uh, current handle as well that we would uh, access the, the one where the one we're drawing to at the moment or in, sorry uh, interacting with so when you hover over something or you, you're typing on something or, or you drag something or click on something the GUI has to uh, pass that data through to that that window so it's you it's making those calls occur for this <clears throat> hmm uh, yeah I'm stumped now clearly if I, I, well, I think if I just pass in, if I have a second function there, if I have a uh, show, show win list we'll call it, me dot window, we just go me, I think so. Just check that phrases. Seems to, okay. Right, so we'll go show win list. So we're passing this thing, thing in, in here. And we'll go win list, which is the first 10. Well, it should be, but same thing. No, no, look, I'm, I'm no expert on Blitz at all, but that's not what I was expecting to happen at all, at all. I was expecting those things to have, each list would have its own set of items. But it feels like that uh, window, anytime I create something of type window, or this would be the same for all types, I would say, is put into a global pool and you can iterate through the global pool. So why would that be useful? I, I, well, sorry, I guess the assumption is that you wouldn't want to have two different lists in the first place of the same type. Uh, yeah, which is probably, you know, it's a valid assumption I'm not, I'm not complaining about that. I'm just, just confused as to why that's implemented like that. 
Hmm. But it might mean that as we pick through this excellent GUI code, I, I will have to take closer look at what it's doing with the types and the iterations through the linked list of types to make sure that what I'm implementing is uh, the same. Because at the moment I'm just kind of hacking it through and just going, well, I'll just fix that later. Hmm. Fun and games. Fun and games. And this was the other one too, is that... Uh... Oh, hang on. See, so, so even there, we've got... We're running through the list, we're adding, we're looking for ID 5. When we find that, I add a new thing to the list. Now, I was assuming that what would happen there is it would link in the new item after ID 5. So if ID was 100, then we have uh, these items in list of, they would be, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then the new one that was added would be 100, then it would be 6, 7, 8, 9. But no, that's not how it worked at all. Well, we'll go, sorry, we'll go back and check that because you now I'm sort of confusing myself. Isn't that fun? Pull that there, put that there. So this should, when we, we're running through a win of the global pool of windows. If we find one with a, a field ID equals five, we're gonna add a new window and then display the sequence that we went through to get to this point. See what we get. Well, that, that's more like I, I imagine there, right? So we're going, okay. This is the initial global pool of windows where we've, at, we've added 10 of one type to one, one list. Well, that's what I thought, thought I was doing. Adding 10 to another list, but they're actually in the same list for some reason. Because uh, we're displaying one list, not two. So why would there be when we go through and, and do an addition, uh, while we're iterating through the, through the list, the new item was added to the end of the list, but it's added to a different list. So here I'm, I'm calling this win, and we're adding it to win list. Yeah, that's pretty freaky. So if we make this win list, let's see what happens. Type must be variable. Sorry, where are we? Oh, there we go. Win list ID five. Go with that. Hmm. Then we get a different linking behavior. So we got through to item five. Didn't even display item five. We've added something new, so we've appended this to the end of the list, and we've moved the pointer through, or the pointer or handle, or whatever you want to call it, through to the current item, which will be the, the freshly added one. Wow, that's a bit of a shock. I wasn't expecting it to work like that. No. I'm not, I'm not even sure if I'm using it the right way. So that's a bit of a shame. Anyway, we'll press on, we'll get this, we'll get something of this to happen. You know, I'll, I'll write this as a bit of a library and if we need to tweak the behavior as it goes along to, to make the code work better or something. That's all fine, fair enough. But it will also mean that any future things that are ported from Blitz, we can sort of, we have a, a baseline to go with same as porting stuff from Dark Basic. I mean, Dark Basic Professional, sorry, Dark Basic Classic doesn't have types in it at all. So it doesn't, it's not even a problem. But DB Professional does, and it has a bunch of array commands and concepts in it that, that aren't natively part of PB. So you have to emulate those to, to make those programs work or behave the same way. And just working out how they're implemented is what it comes down to. You know, do we need to, uh, emulate every single little nuance. Yeah, probably not if the program's not, not using those things, but eventually you'll find some bit of code 
that relies on a particular nuance that um, the, our libraries don't don't handle. Crazy stuff. All right, thanks for that. Um, I'll go and ponder that some more and uh, and see what we come up with. But I just want to make this, make this at the moment to to show that I'm so I, I am actually working this thing and and are stumped by that. That's not how I expected this, this to work at all. All right, thanks a lot. See you later. Bye.